this is our new common tent. I was meant to film from the beginning, but it is lately raining and we just wanted to put it up nice and quickly. My turn. This is it from the outside. I'm a little bit disappointed with our plot here. It's really wet, boggy. Obviously, the weather hasn't been great, but it does tend to really saturate in this area. This is our friend's tent here, um, and it's just a real mess. Like our feet just disappear into the ground, um, and it's <laughs> at a quite the slant. I don't know if you can probably get that from this image, but it's on quite an angle, so we're waking up, falling out the bed, etc. So. One tip that we have learned is to always make sure that we read whether it says flat plots. Um, but yes, on the side, you've got the little side canopy there. Um, I haven't actually used this side for this trip at all, um, purely because it's just so steep down. We've been using the front, but when we were at the festival, when we were at last week, we went to festival, we actually mainly used the side and not the front, so it just depends on your circumstances. The door opens that way and rolls up. Whilst my kids are at the soft play, I thought I would just show you kind of our setup within the tent because um, the weather outside is horrendous. So inside this kind of porch area, it's fully enclosed, um, we've got our kitchen set up, um, our Zempire uh, unit. It does have an extra leaf on this side, but for this plot, it's really unstable. So we decided to go shorter and have more on the ground. Oh my goodness, the wind. Um, inside again, we've got this Zempire unit here. The legs can be extended um, so you can use storage underneath but again because of these winds and the fact that the plot is really unsturdy um, it's like a, a quite a steep angle we just decided to keep it low and that's got all our clothes in while we're here i love the top of this unit and then around here um, we've got the bedrooms and on this side we've got the kids at the table there isn't a lot of storage along any of these pockets which is sort of a little bit disappointing um, windows on this side open up, window there, and then on this side there is a another door with a mesh screen as well, so you can have either or. Up the top we have got our washing as we have into the on-site swim pool today, and then this is the only storage that is supplied in the main section. Then I'm going to open this up and show you the uh, sleeping area. So it's divided into three. This one could be one sleeping area, but there is a divide that you can unzip. And then this one is a separate entity. We didn't realise that before buying it. So we are currently all in this, which officially should be for four people. We have got five and I will unzip now and show you how it is. And then this door opens up and we have actually got it as our store. Um, so it's got all our dirty washing, like the tent bag and all those things that usually would be in the boot of our car. We've got it here. Um, and then like our shower and my makeup, nappies, that kind of thing, are all in here. So actually that's worked out really nicely. And we actually did use a potette for a little while in there as well. Because um, it's almost a nice confined toilet, especially for our little ones. Um, and then this section here, um, we have got every shoe possible because the weather has been harsh to us. Um, it's got nice wide opening windows. Currently, it's not raining, but it's been about six, seven showers today already, and it's only about three o'clock in the afternoon. Um, a mat is essential. As you can see, the mud is coming through. That's my bin rubbish to go out. Um, and we bought the barbecue. Um, but that's a bit of a shame because it's not really getting the usage that we thought it would. We've been mainly having to eat on the stove um, purely because of the horrendous weather. But I'm going to show you from the outside, but I'm off now to do our washing up. Exciting life.